everybody and welcome back to another Toon Kind at 12 FPS. My name is Avi and today I will be playing the wonderful dumbass thief named Arata Satomi and today I am joined by the wonderful, the lovely, my very good friend. <laughs> Hi, I'm Saria. I will be playing local bird baby, March. Um, I hold him up. He is taller than me. We, we we love we love the the tall bar baby. <laughs> um, tall bar baby. Tall bar baby. And um, all right. Uh, so today's a pretty interesting day for uh you and for March and Arada because uh today Arada is coming over to uh to cook with you. Yeah. And, uh, I think uh, Arata just like, hey, you wanna make some good fucking curry? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, he probably comes by, and um, and he has decided to be a nuisance today <laughs> by uh, so like yeah. Um, special mention to Hugh who is sleeping on the sofa on the sofa. <laughs> hey, he's gonna wake up to some really good curry in that case. Yep. Um. But yeah. Uh. So, uh, Arata comes by, uh, and uh, there is a knock at your door. <laughs> oh, he is not coming through the window this time. Not this time. Actually, actually, you know what? Let's let's roll the dice. Let's roll a d2, see where he's coming from. <laughs> yeah, he's coming through the window! <laughs> he's coming through the window! There's just, like, there's just a soft tap, tap, tap against the window. Uh, well, Marge is not surprised in the slightest with the amount of people that have started- that have chosen the window as their way of entrance. Um, and he will just- Sort of come over, open the window. You realize that the window's not locked, um, <laughs> and you get the feeling that it's it might not, probably not locked because it has been because many people come through the window, and uh, some of the many people have pickpockets ha have uh, lock picking skills. That's fair. Arata's just so at polite. This point... <laughs> yeah. I look at Decibel. I look at Lynn. <laughs> I look at. I look at. And probably other people. Anyway, Pip. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, Arada's there, and he kind of just uh, when you open the open the window for him, uh, Arada just kind of like uh, slips inside, and he just goes, "I'm Arch." <laughs> Uh, he's and he's March carrying, just... Uh, he's carrying, like, uh, some grocery bags. He brought stuff for curry making. And Marge is just like, Oh, hey, Arata! Uh, he tells, and, like, he, he, like, he looks over at the couch where you can see, uh, he has, is, is punked out and, like, probably... <laughs> He probably has a book next to him that has been uh, bookmarked and closed. You, you can assume that Hugh fell on, like, fell asleep on the book, and Marge just, like, <laughs> gently pried it from him. Oh. I think Arana, so, yeah. Arana looks at that, sees that, and he just goes, Yeah, brothers, huh? <laughs> yeah, brothers, huh? Uh, the did Arata tell March and Hugh about it? I don't think so. If not, they're gonna find out today. Um, okay, cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, he does uh, like stand still long enough that Genie like jumps out of the bag, and like Genie, being a cat, decides to just sit on the couch next to uh, next to Hugh. He's gonna vibe mm -hmm. there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and March is just like, uh, can I help you with the, uh, all the bags that you're 
holding. Oh, yeah. Um, hang on, I brought some stuff for, for Curry, and uh, he's gonna hand you some... Uh, one of the bags, and uh, he hands it to you, and he says, this one's for the, the Rue, so... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> and March nods. And he hands that over to you, and uh, he's going to, like, follow you into the kitchen. Mm-hmm. March will, like, show him, like, the, uh, just basic layout of the kitchen where the fridge, where it's stuff, and you can definitely see the cookie jar, uh, be, you know what, actually, we're only perception for fun, because this go. is D&D &D and we roll dice here. This is D&D, &D, we like to roll dice. Uh, okay. Finally, we start off an FPS with a Rada that doesn't start with a high roll. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you don't really need a high roll uh, for this. It's it's a it's a kitchen. It's pretty ho pretty homey. Um, you can definitely see, but there's but uh, there is there are there's both a lot like stuff that's like for like tall uh, shelves, but also stools for you. You definitely notice the cookie jar being uh, pretty high up because uh, you know. Because Hugh has a uh, sweet tooth and will eat and will eat uh, cookies before lunch and dinner, <laughs> and sometimes March has to be the responsible one. Only and sometimes. Yeah, just... <laughs> yeah. Um, that's basically it. It's it's a nice kitchen. Yeah, and I think they're like. Um seeing it so, like, homey and such, uh, does help Arata get into the zone. Uh, he's probably, uh, like, setting some things down from the bag and, uh, starts taking them out, laying them all out, and you see there's, like, quite a bit of, like, um, spices and whatnot. Um, there is, um, uh, shoot, um, if you want, you can, like, I guess roll, god, what would this be? Investigation? Perception? I can go with perception. Yeah. Um. Because March has an actual good, decent modifier in perception now. Oh, goodness. Well, I say now, it was ever since, uh, Simon says. Oh, yeah, goodness. Uh, but, like, yeah, um. There's quite a lot uh, of um, of stuff that Arata's brought, and uh, quite a bit of it is uh, spices and such. Uh, and you see some, uh, you see lots of like garam masala, turmeric, coriander, stuff like that. Uh, and um, you also notice that he brought like yogurt for this. Thing. Um, I, the player, have never made fucking curry before, so, like... Uh, curry's interesting. Uh, I'm gonna be real, I have a, uh, a, a page open in the other tab with a recipe. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, like, there's also, like, curry and a bar of, like, it's a specific kind of chocolate that they make that's, like, specifically for cooking with. Uh, but yeah, there's chocolate involved. Interesting. Yeah. Um, so, um... Me, who has never made or eaten curry before. Huh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they, they use chocolate. Um, well, in some, some curries, at least. Um... But, uh, yeah, Azerod is, like, putting this out, and he's starting to, like, get some, um, some supplies, uh, out. Um, he, uh, he takes, like, he's probably, like, washing out a pot just to make sure that it's, like, clean and everything. Uh, and he goes, uh, so, um, I told, I told March, uh, about this, um, this Nakabe guy, and I'm pretty sure he told you. Don't worry about it, we solved everything. 
told he uh makes Hugh and more joke, but yes. Oh, told Hugh about this. Sorry, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. I'm still waking but up. But yeah, March is just like, oh, cats you. Uh, March will nod and and like, at the mention of uh the fact that Nakabe has been dealt with, he like, sort of does like, a nod, just like, oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, the dude took a lightning bolt and passed the fuck out, so that says quite a bit. <laughs> I also stole his TV. Well, it sounds like he deserves it, so... <laughs> he so, heck yeah. Heck yeah. And, uh, Arata does, like, a pumped fist, and, um... He is going to show you the first couple of steps. Um, uh, you, like, uh, get some onions and saute it with uh, garlic and a tablespoon of, like, vegetable oil uh, and whatnot. And um, he's going through the motions of this pretty easily as he also, like, shows you the uh, the type of, like, chicken he got and whatnot. Uh, and, um, woof. If you want to follow along, I'll just pass the the link to the recipe right here. Sure. Yeah. I can do that. Um, Blanc curry. Oh, fucking course. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> yep. So yeah, um, just do do all. We don't have to follow it like one by one. Just gotta. There's like, yeah, they do this. They do the funky steps and like, uh, they they season the chicken and uh now cook. That yeah. now that like it's and it's it's cooking now and like there's a moment of like you don't have to do anything. Yeah. So, my, I think March would be just like, um, other than, you know, the whole Nakabe business, uh, how, how have you been? How's, uh, how's Lupine? Oh, Lupine's fine. <laughs> Especially after everything's, like, settled down and stuff, we were, like, all pretty scared about it and whatnot. Uh, he's, he's just, <laughs> oh my god, shut up, Lupine. <laughs> <laughs> and that gets a chuckle from March. Well, yeah, we're we're fine. Um, vibing for the most part. Um, oh, I don't know if we told you about this. Uh, you or Hugh. Um, but uh, Sammy and I just uh filled out um found family paperwork together. <laughs> you can. See the fucking exclamation mark over March's head. It's like, oh, oh, I'm so happy for you too. Yeah, yeah, we're brothers now. <laughs> uh, we so have fun. just, and he, he like sort of crosses his arms and does like a thinking for It's like, we we gotta celebrate that. <laughs> we should. It's a, it's it's a it's a big thing. I mean, I'm teaching you how to make curry right now, so. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, 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 and maybe, uh, could have, uh, just all four of us, uh, me, just me, Hugh, you, and, and, uh, Sammy, just, I don't know, I, th I think, uh, ever since the, the, uh, sleepover, we haven't had any much, uh, meetups, so, I think we could, we could organize something. Yeah, yeah, that that sounds like fun. Maybe I'll uh, I'll I'll talk to Sammy about it. <laughs> I mean, pretty sure Sammy would be absolutely down for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, Sammy took my last name uh, during the whole uh, paperwork process, so it's Sammy Satomi now. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, tell him it's it's Susan. <laughs> Will do. And he has the biggest grin on his face. 
Oh, March also has a smile. He's really happy for the two of you. It it reminds him of uh himself and Hugh. Oh goodness! It's, it's... And I think, uh, thinking about that, he's also gonna be. So what? What made you realize? What made us realize? Oh gosh. I mean, oof. did you hear about the whole thing with the Sinclair's trial? Vaguely. Okay, so, well, what ended up happening was that the trial happened, right? And I think it was around the time Sammy took the stand as a witness um, that um, Sinclair confess to everything, right? Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. But, like, it was a little bit after that that, uh, well, he got shot. <laughs> and mm -hmm. Erotic kind of winces and rubs a hand against the back of his neck. And he goes, but, like, so, Sammy and I decided that it might be safer to, like, Stay out of Toontown for a little bit, at least until the whole thing with Sinclair blew over. Um, so we yeah. kind of just, like, you know, vibed for a bit. And it was, like, around that time that we kind of realized that, like, hey, we care about each other a normal amount. <laughs> so, like... Yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of just... Funny... Oh. Funny thing about uh, how me and you realize uh, is that we didn't realize uh, a, f a mutual friend of ours had to uh, essentially tell it to my face, but hey, you two are siblings, and <laughs> <laughs> it look, it's pretty obvious in hindsight, but... Arana lets out a laugh, it's like, yeah, sometimes it takes an outside perspective. <laughs> yeah, it, it... It's pretty funny, thinking back on it, and how, um... How neither of us realized it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kinda, kinda lets out a laugh at that. And he just goes like, I mean, well, like, most of the time you don't really know how how far you're willing to go for someone uh, until, you know, it happens. And, and I think, like, after convincing Sammy to, like, head out somewhere, we went to, we went to, we went to Elbert to Ghibli, by the way. Real nice. Um, but, like... I don't know. It's like... I don't know how to put this into words. <laughs> he kind of pauses, and he put, like... He has a very thoughtful look on his face uh, as he kind of leans against the counter. And he goes... It's like... You get so caught up in the moment, and then all of a sudden, boom, it's it's a thing now. And it's, it's not a bad thing, and it's just... Yeah. Yeah. And I think at this point, like, there is a, a little bit of silence in... Uh, March realizes that the chicken has been cooked enough. So it was like, oh, back, back to cooking. Yeah, and Arata's right. uh, like showing you like how to how to like um how to to put the roux in and how to like um cook the rice and whatnot. I mean, the rice is pretty easy to make. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just kind of boil it in water. Um, and whatnot, and, um, 
but he seems to have like a pretty good handle on it in um <laughs> shoot do you want to roll insight sure Nineteen. Ooh, 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 that's good. Arata looks uh very much in the zone as he's making curry, but it's done with like such experience that he does it like you get the feeling he could do this without even thinking about it. <laughs> and seeing that much just sort of pipes up. Just you have a lot of experience with this, don't? Don't you? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was the it was the first thing I ever learned how to cook. Uh, that sounds like it has a story behind it. Oh god, you have no idea. Uh, and he is already in story mode. <laughs> <laughs> March is listening. <laughs> and like you see him as he's moving to like uh make sure that like the pot is covered so it has so the rice has like time to steam a bit um he he kind of just uh continues with the cooking as he talks about it and he goes well like when i uh when i moved over to um to okashima uh i was taken in by this guy who ran a uh, a coffee and curry cafe um I actually ended up living on in the in the attic of that cafe, by the way. <laughs> and um it's a really nice place, by the way. It's like the best coffee and curry in the entirety of Yeddo, and yes, I'm biased. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, thing I've ever uh heard of Yeddo before. Yeah, again, I haven't uh heard much of Anything outside of Inkwell? Mm. I mean, Yeddo's pretty far, so it's like... I guess it's not too much of a surprise you haven't heard about it. He kind of rubs that hand against the back of his neck, but like... It's a pretty small country, and... Well, like... I moved over to the, um... To the capital for... Higurmas's... Reasons. Uh, but, uh... <laughs> but yeah... Um, but, like, I ended up being taken in by this guy who, um, well, ran the, the coffee and curry place, and, like, after a while, uh, we both decided that it might do some good if I learned how to, like, work in the cafe, um, when I wasn't in school and whatnot. Um, so he ended up teaching me how to, um how to make this curry, and it is probably the best curry I've ever had. <laughs> he kind of laughs, mm. laughs at that, and, um, and he goes, I mean, like, um, Ghetto's pretty, pretty, Ghetto's got, like, uh, its own kind of, like, cuisine, I guess you could say. <clears throat> um, but, but, like, curry is probably kind of common uh around here around there and um not as common as like what uh sushi or bento boxes or whatever uh <laughs> and he he um he kind of smiles and he says um but yeah um this recipe that um i learned uh the guy who took me in, he ended up telling me about how the recipe was actually made better by a, uh, by a scientific genius. Oh. Well, that's neat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he kind of pauses as he goes back to the cooking and he goes... It's Oof. it's 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 I guess it's something, you know. Uh It's one thing to like have a a, a chef, master, whatever, 
but like to actually have a scientist t- take your recipe and come back later and say, hey, here is the perfect balance for all your ingredients to make it actually taste better. <laughs> that's, that's... I'm not sure if that was a, if she was complimenting him or helping him out, or it was like, hey, you could do this better. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it's definitely one way to say things. Um, oh, absolutely. <laughs> I I guess it's, there's always ways that this, a thing of balance with everything, so, yeah, I don't see why, uh, why you can't improve a recipe with science? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As long as you don't, like, use the toony kind of science, which is probably gonna be blasting an energy right into the plate, but yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. No. Oh, gosh. I don't... <laughs> We're all real kind. I don't think we can do that. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's why uh, that's why Inkwell is not in Yeddo because oh boy, <laughs> I don't want to. Oh. I, I don't think I want to see scientifically enhanced curry with tune and and he does like air quote scientific enhancement. Oh gosh, if you don't look at it right, he might walk away. <laughs> Oh gosh! <laughs> How do you get food to walk away? Does it just like grow legs? I don't know. Uh... <laughs> Every time it's a different gag. <laughs> oh man, this place is. This place is wild, but I like it here. <laughs> yeah, it... It took me a while to get used to, uh, here, to... Todd Mystery Food X. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery Food X would be a thing, it could be a thing in Toon Kind. Oh. Oh god, don't- don't remind me of It's actually pixelated. No! Oh goodness. Don't make me think about it. This is the Persona 5 XP, that's for Persona 4, please. (laughs) Uh, but like, yeah, um, Erana takes a moment to go back to the curry. Uh... And he, he just goes, um, uh, he kind of, like, uh, checks on it, makes sure it's all, like, nice and steamy, uh, and whatnot. And I, I guess around this point, uh, Arata kind of, like, uh, starts to serve it out. Uh, probably takes a plate and spreads out the, spreads out the rice, um, gives gives the gives the curry itself like one last stir and then like um pours it over the plate and um and uh he uh he hands it over to you and he uh gets his own plate and he's like well time to put it to it to the test <laughs> and uh march will take like a spoon and, um, like, like, yum. And just like, it, it's really good. It is good. Yeah. Uh, Arana takes a bite of his own and he's like, oh, wow, you did really good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, yeah, I've been learning, uh, I've been mostly learning, uh, baking, but I've been, Trying to branch out into also cooking now, nowadays. <laughs> Sorry, I just had the had the funniest thought in my mind. <laughs> you say you've been learning how to cook, and Arata just kind of like looks over to you, like, 
surprise. It's like, oh, really? What do you know how to cook? Wait, repeat that. What do you What do you know how to cook? Uh, well, um, here and there, just things I uh picked out that we wanted to have for lunch or dinner. So I've been uh trying out things. This is the story of not knowing, uh, not thinking, not, not thinking about the consequences of our actions. That's, no, you're so fine. Oh, I've been there. <laughs> yeah. He, he, Mark probably, like, lists out a couple of, like, cooking recipes that he, he'd done. <laughs> uh, some of them are simpler, some of them are more complex. Yeah, and I'm like, uh, or you list some of the more complex one, and Arata is just like, oh wow, yeah, wow. Um, but uh, as you list these out, Arata just kind of like tilts his head, and he goes, "I guess that means uh, we still have some more cooking lessons in the future." And March lights up, literally. You know him. This boy is a lamp. Uh, and he's like, oh, oh, I, I would love to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I told you about this before, but I've actually, uh, my friends and I once took a, a road trip around, uh, Yeddo. <laughs> and, like, you know, I'm the only one with cooking experience, so they put me on, uh, cooking duty, and, man... The stuff I learned how to cook during the trip, a lot of it's really good. <laughs> like, not to boast. Ooh. Not to boast. But it's really good food. I hope I can taste it. Yeah. I mean, if we if we want another uh, cooking lesson sometime. Uh, you, might, you might get a chance to, to try it out for yourself. Sorry, someone came to my room. What was that? Oh, sorry. Um, uh, I mean, if you if you want another uh, cooking lesson sometime, uh, you might have a you might have a chance to try it out for yourself. Oh, I would love to. Yeah. And he's he's vibing. He's he's pretty proud of it. And um, vibing. The smell of coffee and curry in this apart in this apartment. Not coffee and curry, just curry. They didn't make coffee. I put my head in my yeah. hands. <laughs> <laughs> I ran it for a second and just like, wait, where's the coffee? And I was like, oh, wait, I didn't make any. It's like the smell, the smell of curry in this place. He's probably still asleep. And I think at this point, Jeannie has probably like curled up right against Hugh. Oh. <laughs> it's just a kibby. Kibby. And, um, it's a kibby and a cat boy. Um, it's great because Arata got a nickname recently, and that nickname is Cat Boy. <laughs> God, amazing! Uh, if I had a nickel for every cat in this fucking house right now, I would have three nickels. <laughs> Only one of them is an actual cat. Only one of them. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's, there's, there's three cats in this house. <laughs> anyway. Yep. Anyway, um. Arata kind of like, um. <laughs> Arata kind of looks at the pot and he goes, well, uh. Hmm. Kind of made. A bit, so I guess you guys have uh, leftovers, <laughs> and he kind of like, <laughs> kind of like, rubs like fidgets with his hair a bit, and like fixes the fringe back into place, and he goes, um, but like, uh, yeah, um, how, how have you been? Anything, anything happened recently between you and Hugh? Uh, well, nothing much uh there is the, there is a whole recovering thing that i think you told you about 
Yeah. Uh, Hugh's been very, he's been getting much better. Uh, he's, he's no longer, he, he no longer has a ma magic overstrain. Well, that's good. And, and everything, everything's calm now, so that's, uh, A for once. Thing, um, <laughs> kind of laughs at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the amount of it's as Lynn says, so we are the, the, the whole plot thing with protagonists and all that. And, uh, yeah, I think for once, uh, Lynn's plot has decided to leave us alone. Oh, goodness. Whew. Should probably check in on Lynn. Haven't uh, haven't seen her in a while. But I did give her a call recently. She seemed happy about that. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. Should. And um, you know what? You can roll me insight for a minute, for a second. All right. Oh, oh, I forgot about that. Morski, you're right. Uh, also, uh, March, uh, March also said, Oh, and another thing. Um, mine and Tia's birthdays were, um, re were recently. What, you're kidding me? And I didn't know? <laughs> I would have gotten <laughs> well, you something. And kind of like, there's no, like, real force against it, but he does, like, kind of, like, jokingly punches your arm and March was just sort of like laughing just like in my defense I Mar Hugh didn't tell me until it was the very day and um well we cut and well I didn't actually really have much of a birthday so we just decided on the spot but it'll be a day after uh Hugh's birthday. Oh. That's nice. I hope you guys had a good birthday. Oh, we have. We 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 made we did a a baking competition and and we made and we we invited we didn't invite a lot of people, but um we we did invite Lynn and hmm, do you know he he, he lists out the people the it's like four like what four people other than uh, March and Hugh or it's a few people so you can tell that it was like a pretty small birthday yeah and just like and and then he like pulls uh, let me just roll hammer space five he pulls out um. Free pictures of uh, cakes, and let me see if I still have those images. Oh goodness! <laughs> because uh, where that? Where? Uh, I think I I think I know what they are. Uh, let me just real quick yonk them because it was very pretty, and. Sotero uh, surprised all of us with it. Oh ho! Alright. Don't mind me, I'm just... I just yunked yunk them, uh... Yeah, no, take your time, take your time. Yeah. So yeah, just, uh, pictures of these three cakes, and... Goodness, they're really pretty. 
and oh. I'm still like, I I will gush about about Soto's art and they how they they just did that and and just like, yeah, the, uh, those free uh cakes, uh just pictures of those free cakes. Oh yeah, Arata sees those and you're just like, oh wow, wow, that looks really good actually. <laughs> Oh, they were very good, and you know what? I will say, um, prob uh, you pr the two of uh, you prob Arata, you probably got a sl like free slice for one from each cake. Uh, after the birthday. <laughs> oh, I love that, and he's just like, oh, that's what that was for, huh? Did we life? No. <laughs> To be, in my defense, there was a situation going on. <laughs> I mean, that's perfectly valid, but why do you think we would send... Me? Okay, I, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> and Morch Mar Mar is sort of, like, laughing. <laughs> yeah, no, Arata starts laughing, too. <laughs> and, um... Uh, remember, uh, so what, what did you roll for that insight? Oh, right, that... uh, I got a 13 plus 5, 18. Okay, uh, yeah, um, as March was talking about, uh, Hugh's condition getting better, you, and, like, all that, you kind of noticed, but March re hasn't really talked about himself. Oh, yeah, and I think he kind of, like, uh, does like a gentle like uh nudge you're probably still facing the um the the cooking where uh does i'm not sure if uh hugh and march have like something to like store the curry in other than the pot itself but like if you have like tupperware they probably do have some stuff and like uh just a, a f funny flavor thing uh Arada, you open the do you open the the f you open the fridge door. There is so much soup there, and Marjo like sighs and just like a friend of ours made us some soup back then. And when the only pot is like twenty gallons, you, there's a lot of soup. It's almost as bad as Lynn's curry problem. <laughs> There's oh, absolutely. Smuggery, uh, chili. There you go. I know my words. Yeah, there's all, there's also pots of chili in there. <laughs> Arata is just like, hmm. I hope this isn't a sign for the curry. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, it's it's definitely being eaten, but also there is so much get. There is so so much is being given to them. Help them. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, Arata puts the, the curry so that, uh, Hugh can have some whenever he wakes up, and, um, uh, Arata comes back over, kind of nudges, uh, March, uh, and he goes, um, uh, what about you? You, you're, you've been talking about Hugh a bit. Are you alright? Oh, well, uh, it's been um and March sort of like goes quiet for a second and just like I uh after that time I realized I having problems with silence complete silence it's it's a bad reminder. Oh oh March I mean, jeez, yeah, no, I get that. I, I get that. Do you, do you, you don't have like a, a record player or anything? Oh, I usually there, there's always some sort of ambience in, in the household. You, uh, you sure uh, does make sure of that, <laughs> but yeah. You or Lynn or anybody else that decides to break in for the window. <laughs> oh, that's 
that's why you don't keep it locked. Yeah! With the amount of people who decide to make it their main way of entrance, we just decided that it's not worth it. It's gonna be like that, and if anybody is just stupid enough to break in, uh, but isn't one of our friends, I can- we can deal with that. And he nods. He knows- he knows, uh, you can handle your own. <laughs> Looks at Simon Says for March, cut a dude in half. Sweats. <laughs> um, but like, yeah. And he- he kind of just gives you, like, a gentle pat on the arm. And he goes, you know, if, um, if something's ever bothering you, you can always come by the, the inn. I'm having a lending ear, you know? Thank you. I I appreciate it. And you can, if, with that in, so you can tell Marge is being very genuine. He, he trusts you. You're a friend. <laughs> and, uh, um, then he goes, uh, there's like a beat where he gives you a, a very soft and genuine smile. And then he goes, Oh my god, have I ever told you about the one time my friend and my friends and I went karaoke? No, do tell, 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 come on. That that oh. sounds like something. Oh, like god. A... it was oh, the, I don't even remember what we were doing. Uh I think we were like trying to do like some sort of like project for uh for one of the uh the school's, um, the school's, you know, the, the, the student council, whatever, uh, we were trying to do a project for them, and, uh, we had decided, my group decided to, to meet up at a, a karaoke place, because we, it was, like, off campus and whatever, and, like, I swear, I swear to, like, whatever God is listening Bless the souls of whatever group was before us, they could not sing to save themselves. Oh no. I it's it's a sound that will stick with me forever. Oh no. <laughs> and he gives you like this uh this a funny retelling of the story of when he went karaoke with his friends. Uh, uh, full disclosure, he is trying to get you to laugh. Yeah, March is definitely laughing at the funny part. And, like, uh, when Arata gets, like, describing the noise, and March between lives is just like, Are you sure you don't have tunes in Yano? No tunes. Just... Terrible singing voices. <laughs> <sighs> Man. Man. And he kind of like, uh, kind of laughs to himself and he, uh, kind of, he kind of like shrugs and he says, like, hey, um, thanks for, uh, thanks for letting me come over, by the way. Of course. Yeah. I know it's been a while between, you know, everything kind of sweats <laughs> at that. Just like, yeesh. And, yeah. Um, he kind of sighs and he moves over and um, he says, um, well, like, um, I will be writing down that recipe for you so you can have that uh, next time I see you. You will get that soon. Uh, Jeannie, did you fall asleep? He looks over. Jeannie is 100% asleep. Yeah. Conked out. Conked out right next to the other cat boy. <laughs> yeah, prob- prob- Mar I I'm gonna be- I'm gonna assume on Morsky's end for- for- that, um, that you as- he as cuddly he as he is uh, has has probably gone to hug Genie. <laughs> Arata sees this and just goes, 
Japan. <laughs> you see how he treats everybody else, but not how he treats me. Come on. <laughs> he lets out a laugh, and uh, <laughs> he moves over to like gently pry the kibby away, um, and put him back in his bag. And there's just the soft. Oh my god! What's up? Uh, I'm just dying over the over the cat noises, but you're making Avi. I have a lot of practice because sometimes when my cat meows, I'll just meow back at her. I love that. Um. Uh, but he goes. Um. Hey. Um. Take it easy. Like I said. Uh, welcome by any the inn anytime soon, and um, I'm sure Sammy would like to like to uh, hang out with you again too. So like, of course, want us to do that celebration? We should I think Sammy yes. would love it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And March once again getting excited because <laughs> hanging out with their friends, celebrating. Hell yeah! Yeah. And, uh, I think, uh, once, like, all the goodbyes are said and whatnot, uh, Lorado's gonna head over to the window again, and, uh, opens it, starts to climb out, but, like, before he, like, hops down, he gives March, uh, one last wave. I think before that, because I don't think, Ar I don't think Arata has ever gotten a friendship token before. Oh. So, um... We, like, as, um, like, Arata, uh, goes to, like, cleave, and he- Actually, let me j just roll a, a quick sleight of hand, just to see how obvious it is. Oh! Wow, it's really obvious. Oh, no, uh, he, uh, you, you definitely feel, uh, like, something being pressed to your hand, and when you look at it, uh, you will you will see it's about it's about the size of your palm, and it is a flower. Let me just find it. It is a uh, it is a fl a white and blue flower, and that glows softly. And March sort of realize you probably catch March in the act, and he just like sort of freezes, just like. Uh, I didn't give it to you before, so, uh... Oh, no, 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 you're fine. And he kind of, like, looks it over, and he, like, and he goes, I kind of like it. It's, well... And he he's, like, he's now, like, sort of, like, fidgeting with his hand. He's like, I give it to people I consider my friends. And, um, I didn't get to give you one before. And Arata kind of smiles, and he goes, well, that's, that's sweet of you. Thanks, March. Uh, no, no problem. <laughs> Alright. Uh, keep an eye on Hugh. Uh, if he does anything stupid, you have my permission to bully him. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll see you later. See you. Uh, get, uh, say hi to Sa Sammy. Yeah. My name and pro and Hughes and he, he like looks at Hugh, who is like sleeping on the couch. <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, I'll I'll tell him you guys said hi." <laughs> and then he kind of just. Lips on down. <laughs> yep, off he goes. And yeah. And I th yeah, I think we can uh sort of like the camera as like uh zo like as as Arata uh goes out g gets out of the window, the uh, the camera like sort of like shifts to March um. 
but putting um the curry in like proper like plates before it was like in 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 like the dishes but like now it's like natural plates and gently nudging he awake uh who is who was probably already stirring a bit from the uh wonderful smell of curry and i think we can in fact end things here Uh, thank you for, uh, playing with me, Avi. Oh, thank you. Thank you for, uh, letting me... Let me letting been... my boy bother your boy. <laughs> I love the, your boy, so it's all good. <laughs> and, uh, uh, with that, I think we can, uh, say goodbye to our audience. Thank you, everybody, for listening in, both now and in the future. Uh, yep. Bid you... A good time zone. Goodbye. Bye.